Hey guys, Benji here. Welcome back to my channel, Bite Size Benji, where today I'm doing a little follow-up video from a video I posted up yesterday, which was the Project X Cloud uh, preview uh, service. Now, such a great response to that video. I got a lot of views and plenty of comments down below asking me some questions. So I just want to say thank you for watching the video, and I'm going to try and answer the questions. Let's move that away. Uh, yeah. So basically. And there's a few things I didn't cover off that I wanted to try and address in this video. And uh, yeah, let's get straight to it. So I've got Halo 5 booted up already. And one of the first questions was, is what is my internet speed? So it's uh, 50 megabits per second. So it's not the best you can get over here in the UK. And it's not the worst. It's just kind of like mid-tier. Um, but yeah, it just gives you an idea on you know what internet speed um, is probably best. So as you can see, it's kind of glitching a little bit. Um, and buffering so I'd say if it's anything lower than 50 it's probably going to struggle I reckon but like I say that's just my Wi-Fi it could be you know it could be better in other places but anyway so that's that secondly I said uh, you need an Xbox uh, Bluetooth device and obviously that's on the Microsoft website it's going to say Xbox Bluetooth device however I found out that you can use any Bluetooth uh, controller which does include the DualShock 4 so I have a DualShock here, and I've got it connected. I've actually got my Xbox controller connected as well, both of them. And basically, whichever controller you start using, it will use that as the primary uh, controller. So as you can see here, it's lagging. <laughs> but um, yeah, so I'm using my DualShock. And then if I just pop the Xbox controller, so let's start using it, it starts working. So yeah so that's pretty cool um you can't do split screen uh like use two controls at the same time i tried uh, doing killer instinct as two player but of course whichever controller you start using it uses it as the primary controller so you can't do two player which is a bit of a shame however i'm pretty sure microsoft's objective is getting games running on this service on your phone or tablet or device whatever and i think that is the priority so but you never know maybe something like that can come in the future um and uh, another thing uh Someone mentioned was, can I show the game off with the controller on the screen? Which I didn't do, um, amazingly, because um, that's obviously really, really important so people can see any lag issues or anything like that. So I thought I'd just quickly show some gameplay of Halo 5 with me using the controller. So as you can see, I'm looking, no lag, up, down, and then I'll jump. So it's, you can see it buffering ever so slightly. <clears throat> but, um, I thought I'd just quickly show you the button because, you know, the latency, like I said in my video yesterday, you know, Google Stadia is going to be relying solely on using the internet. So, and a lot of people have got questions about this. So, as you can see, look at that trigger. It's very responsive. Melee. You know, it's, it run, I think it runs pretty good, I'd have to say. Um, let's get into a bit of combat. Sorry, Grunts, but I have to shoot you a bit there. Oh, boom. Thank you. Oh, yeah, all right. I'm going to give you a So, look, as you can see there, it started lagging a bit there. So, when it gets quite intensive, it starts jogging a little bit. But, you know, like I say, this is a preview build. So, we're just testing things at the moment, seeing how it all works. But, um, yeah, that's it, really. I mean, like I say, if you've got any more... Um, you know, if you want any other feedback or you want to know something else, I can see if I can find out for you and put it in the comments below. But I thought I'd just do this video so you can see the the actual combat and, uh, you know, what it's like in that, you know, that situation. You know, someone uh, very nicely put a comment. It was nice to see a video where, you know, it's like a real world situation, you know, because when all this stuff gets shown off, it's normally like behind closed doors at conferences with like the best Wi-Fi ever. You know, so, you know, it's not really a true representation of what it's going to be like. So, um, but yeah, that's what I mean. I've, like I say, the response to the last video was absolutely brilliant. And uh, I was very pleased. And I really enjoyed doing the video because, yeah, I'm all about the games and Xbox. Uh, another thing I want to show you actually on, on the, the screen, up here on the top right, you can see the little tiny exclamation button. It's just popped up about your Wi-Fi connection. So if you tap on that, 
um, you know, it tells you, you know, you're currently on a 2.4 gig Wi-Fi network, which to five gig may improve. I'm like, I'm not doing that anytime soon. And then over here on the left side, you've got mute, so you can mute the game. Uh, feedback, obviously this is a preview build, so any feedback you want to give Microsoft about how it's running, uh, what they can do better, what is good, so on and so forth, and then quitting the game. And then it just comes out like that. And then back to the main menu. Oh, I just skipped that by accident. Um, sometimes it'll ask you for feedback, you know, out of five stars, what was the stream like, what was the input like, you know, so on and so forth. So feedback as much as you can, because obviously the more feedback you give, the better they can make the service. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a like and comment down below again for anything that I might not have covered. And I will try and answer it for you. And if you're new to the channel, please subscribe because that would be great. And it's making me very happy at the moment because the subscribers are coming in. So again, thank you very much, guys. And as always, I'm Bite Size Benji. Happy gaming.